Hey, it's you. What are you doing in my bedroom? Like, seriously, what are you doing in my bedroom? You're not supposed to be here. Did I invite you in here? Oh, gee whiz. If you're like me, hi, everybody. This is Beauty Babe, Tina M. Wright. I'm just sitting in my bedroom, just watching TV, trying to get this some notes together for what, you know, just, just getting my notes together for this week and my planner and notes for Snappy and notes for my skincare products, my beauty in a bottle and show face skin hair, cosmetics and fashion, www.mybeautyinabottle.net, you know all about that, right? And so I'm just sitting here and um, seeing how all of you are doing. Um, it's, get, it's nippy. It's getting chilly outside. It all depends what part of the country you're in. Pennsylvania, it's chilly. It's shitty. I mean, it, it's starting to get chilly. It's nippy. It's getting, it's starting to get like straight real chilly here. I'm not joking you. Like, I am chilly. I got the chill bug coming over me. But, um, just sitting here. I was just thinking about, you know, my intuitive side and what's all going on with our country and everything and this is my intuitive stone that I hold, hold. So if I do an intuitive reading for any of you, you know, I take my stone here, my ink pen and a notepad, ink pen and a notepad. You know what I mean? Okay. So, um, you know, just wondering what's all going on with our country and, and the stability of it. And so, you know, I was just thinking about that and thinking about so many things in life that you know we're all going through with the the c19 and with the election and just everything like you know we just really have to honestly at this point in time take a deep breath and and get through it and not overthink about anything because i think at this point in time when we overthink about stuff i think that um then, then you're overthinking and it's not going to be good. I think you have to just relax and not overthink the process of election. You just, you either vote or you don't. Um, you just go to the polls, vote or however you voted and, and leave it at that. I think that if you, if you, you know, you overanalyze it or go crazy about it, I think it, it just is not good. You know, you just got to do what you have to do. And I'm just sitting here thinking about that and thinking about notes for snap talk on Tuesday. And just, you know, I, I, you know, I just pray for our country. I pray for our president. I pray for future presidents. I pray for our election. I pray for all of us to get along in this country because like, we're, I feel like we're, we're in a time where we're not, none of us are getting, nobody's getting along this is a serious fight um, with this election. This is a serious fight that we're going through with the C-19 and um, people being evicted from their homes because they can't afford to pay their bills. Um, people hurting, people hungry, people mad. I mean, it, there's so much stuff going on that I kind of wonder how this is going to be. I'm not joking you, everybody. I'm kind of wondering how this is going to be. Um, and how this is going to play out 2020 because 2021 I'm just wondering how um, that's going to play out I'm just sitting and thinking about this 2020 how is it going to play out because right now 2020 has has came in and it is roared and it is reared up so many things that we were not even in, in our lifetime prepared for. And we are still not prepared for anything else that's about to come. Do you know what I mean? And so what does this look like? What does this look like? And I'm telling you, we've got to hold on to this tighter than we've ever held on to it before because this is serious. And we've got to hold on to this to get through um, 2020 into 2021 because um, God is definitely trying to tell us something everybody we have to wake up and we have to realize that this life is a journey that all of us should be taking together in unity not divide and divided we fall united we stand and um, 
I, I feel like we have got to stand up and stand right with one another instead of fighting one another. And this is this is scary because we all want to. Everybody wants to fight about something instead of re, and instead of and everybody wants to the, everybody to hear their truth and their story. And and I think like we got to start focusing on uniting and 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 instead of being so divided because this year holy crap man we are so divided it's unshakable it's unshakable it's this unshakable shit that's happening in our country and i mean and just when you think things might get a little better stuff really gets worse and and i'm serious it's like holy crap things just get worse and it's like you know hold on to loving everybody hold on to if you don't ad agree with somebody don't hate them or don't try to hurt them or do you know what i'm saying like you know because at the end of the day we can all agree to disagree without trying to hurt one another without tearing our cities down and our country and and we've got a brace and um I just think, wow, it, it, we really, really, really have to honestly, you know what I mean? We honestly have to take a step back and, 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 and see what's happening in our country. And we can't, I think we got to stop blaming each other. We got to stop the blame game of stuff. And um, we got to get right. We got to get right with the Lord. We have to get right with the Lord, our Bible. We got to stay prayed up, protected up. Um, I just, I just really have to, you know what I mean? Because I, I feel like, you know, I, I love everybody. Like, I just pray that, you know, everybody has their own opinions about stuff. Trump has his opinions. Biden has his. Everybody, let's just learn to agree to disagree without hurting one another. Without, like, literally, I'm serious. Without hurting one another. Without, um, you know, just... And I don't know. I mean, I, I just feel so sad. I feel I feel so sad for our country right now and what it's gone through with this election because I feel like, you know, if things don't go certain ways of this election, it's like damned if you do and damned if you don't. If if things don't go this way, then um, it's going to take on another form of ugliness. And if it doesn't go this way, it's going to take on another form. So I feel as though... Um, what do you think, Angel Mother Angel? I don't even know. <laughs> Angel's like, let me protect my kids and run. <laughs> Seriously. She doesn't want to hear it. Look, look. She's covering her ears. She doesn't want to hear it. I mean, it's this serious. And um when I sit and think about this, I I just I just don't even know what to say. And I just pray for a country. That's all I can do is pray for a country, pray for the White House, pray for the Senate, pray for just pray pray for the supreme court just pray for everything in our country and pray that this year right here will be a better year for all of us you know what i mean i just pray that this this year right here will be a better year and a blessed year and i pray that you know for all the victims of the coronavirus and everything i just you know I just sit and, you know, I, I, I meditate on so many things because I always keep my intuition nice and fresh and crisp. And I'm thinking, Lord, what in the world? This is like so unbelievable what's happening that it's really sad. But, you know, we got to look at and we got to look at good parts of life and good parts of what people are doing. And hang on to that and hang on to our own truth and our own justice and our own happiness. And and hopefully that 2020, 2021, you know, be a better year. Get the enlightenment stone out. Get the intuitive stone out and just pray because it'll be okay. God's got it. Just pray, just pray, just pray. And so I hope all of you have a blessed day today. It's Sunday. I hope all of you have a blessed and lovely day today. Um, you know, just like I said, I'm just sitting here, just, you know, had to pay all my bills, keep the roof over my head, you know what I mean? Seriously. And now I'm just sitting here just 
thinking about so many other things and um, loving on all of you, you know, just loving on you and um, thanking you so much for watching Snap Talk and thank you so much for um, agreeing to disagree with me. And you, oh, 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 agreeing to disagree with me. And, you know, just like I said, I know a lot of you don't agree with what things I say. And some of you don't. That's okay. And I'm not mad at you. I'm not, like, coming at you with brimstone and fire because you don't agree with things that I say on Snap Talk. I'm, that's, we're all adults. And we should be able to agree to disagree. And that's how it is. So, you know, I love all of you. I don't mean anybody any harm or anything like that. I just wish that we could all get along together without trying to hurt one another and trying to sabotage one another, you know? That's what I wish. So, have a blessed day. And thank you so much. I don't even have a flyer sitting on the bed or anything for my business. I don't even have a flyer. I normally have flyers all around me on the bed and stuff, and I don't have, and I don't have a flyer for my business, my beauty in a bottle. Where is there a My Beauty in a Bottle flyer? Come on. Show these people what we're working with. Great. Is there one? Oh, I think I found one. Oh, I found one. <laughs> I actually found a flyer. You're right. So don't forget to go on to this small business's online store at www.mybeautyinabottle.net. And get your beauty fix on. Um, I have free shipping um, with all my products. So please go on and purchase a product from me. And help this small business woman out. Right? Seriously. Because I love all of you. And I thank you so much. And I know like my products aren't the most um, cheapest products. But um, they're not the most expensive either. They're, I mean they're, they're, they're in the middle. You know what I mean? For I make all natural products. So I mean... I use good ingredients and everything to make my products, everybody. So I don't use cheap ingredients. And um, my um, hair beauty smooth, beauty smoother, <laughs> men's beard, um, beard oil will be, um, it's on my online store right now. I just put it on. And um, so I'll be making batches of that up. So I'm waiting for some key ingredients to come in so I can start whipping that up. And making the labels today. Um, for that, for the men's um, beard oil. And um, so that and what else? I have a couple other products that are, are coming out definitely. So stay tuned. I have a lot of nice other products coming out. I just I just got so many things um, working on that I'm coming out with with products. It's unbelievable. So stay tuned for that because, you know, that's how it is. I love making products. I really do. I love making all my products. It makes me feel good inside <laughs> to create something. You know what I mean? And I love it. I just love it. And so, um, you know, with my show face line, I'll be coming out. That's my, um, you know, my, that's my line where maybe some people would be, might maybe a little bit more affordable. But that line is coming out with a couple more different things, too. So, you know, I just pray. I just use my intuition, my God's given intuition to make my products, all my products and everything. And, and you know, to talk about things on Snap Talk and stuff. So, have a blessed day, everybody. Just like I said, cling on to this. Cling on to the Lord. Hold on to the Lord. Right, Angel Love? <laughs> Seriously. But, um, you know, just like I said, pray for one another and instead uplift one another, everybody. Like, honestly, we of all in this country, it doesn't matter who you are, honestly. It doesn't matter how rich you are, how poor you are. We have all been through something in this country with the C-19 and going through this pandemic. We have all been through something, you know what I mean? And it's taken a toll on us one way or another, you know? Seriously, it's taken a toll on me with my small business, you know, with just getting out and being, being able to get out and take orders around to people. Because a lot of people that purchase my products, they don't purchase them online, you know? They're local and I go out and about and I drop off the products and they don't have money to be able to buy my products like they used to. 
and so that is really you know I I have cash you know the majority of my business a lot of people use give me you know it's cash so um, a lot of my customers just don't have money to purchase my products and you know with online um, a lot of my orders were I dropped them off to people who who you know purchased them or I would meet them somewhere and give them their orders like that you know they'd be drop off so um, the ones that were online are people that have credit cards or something like that or cards that you can purchase things online so um, you know and so I lost a lot of those customers due to like that right now they just didn't have a lot of money to pay my, pay for my products and and you know I, I had to up my prices like last year before all this happened because I just really you know what I mean I just really 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 had to you know with my ingredients going up and stuff I mean phew, Lord Jesus you know it's for real you know it's for real so but Lord willing everything will be all right and you know I'm grateful for so many things in my life I mean have a roof over my head you know what I'm saying vehicle and everything so vehicles so you know I'm just grateful and humbled and honored to the Lord um, for getting me through these things and I mean I pray for all of you also and I'm not just saying it and it's not just coming out of my mouth that I pray for all of you and and hang in there I mean everything will be all right I, I know it sounds cliche like oh Tina hang in there everything will be all right I've heard this so many you know what I mean but like everything this too shall pass like with all this stuff with the C19 this too shall pass I mean you know whether you want to take the vaccine or you don't this too shall pass I mean you know um, um, you know everything has a season and a reason so hang in there and I just love all of you so much oh I cannot wait to um, do my intuitive reading so you know that's just you know if you, um, you know, want an intuitive reading, my prices are on um, my online store at www.mybeautyinabottle.net. Um, I have the prices for that definitely on there. And um, my intuition is with great accuracy, I must tell you. So if I tell you something and you're like, how does she know that? My intuition is on point. Um... So I look forward to that. I look forward to helping a lot of people. I really do with my intuition and, um, and um, you know, just give me a chance. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what you need to know. But I love you. Have a blessed day. And I will see you when I see you, which is on Snap Talk Live, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 8 o'clock. Yes, 8 o'clock. So Michael Wade, he'll be back on Tuesdays. Um, uh, because he has another job so he can only do Tuesdays and he's my best friend he's one of my best friends so you know he's a good person he's a good soul he is a good soul so I'm so grateful you know so so Tuesdays I have him Wednesday and Thursday you know Jess Brown in the house that's my Christian rock star and so um, I'm gonna see who I can find to to do the Wednesday and Thursdays co-hosting so that's something there that I have to check into but have a good day and I love all of you and I will see you when I see you have a blessed day everybody peace love and compassion rules yes it rules I love you I love you I love you I love you cling to this and I will cling to this too right <laughs> And don't forget, just like I said, to go on to this online store, www.mybeautyinabottle.net. Yes. <laughs> oh, my. Have a blessed Sunday. Go. Go relax. Go. Go relax. <laughs>